1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 till n is n with an exclamation mark. It's not n. It is called as n factorial. What is the smallest value of n such that n factorial is a multiple of 891? 891 is such a large number and I'm already worried. I'm going to, uh, all of these questions, were especially questions that I don't understand the idea. I love breaking it down by saying, hey, let me write down a few numbers. 1 factorial is 1. 2 factorial is 1 into 2. 3 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3. 2 factorial into 3 is 6. 4 factorial is 3 factorial into 4. 24. 5 factorial. 24 into 5, 120. This is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 will take us here. 6 factorial is 120 into 6, 720. 7, I'm not going to keep writing this. The numbers are becoming larger and larger. Right? So I can't, I can't verify this like this. I can say none of these numbers is the answer. 891 is more than this. I can also say 891 factorial. I say 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 into 9 into all the way till 891. That number will definitely be a multiple of 891. 891 works. But 891 is a good n. But it may not be the smallest value of n. Maybe some other smaller factorial works. And I can get to 891. Now I'm going to investigate this 891. 891 is not some random number. Let me see if I can factorize 891. How do I factorize 891? 891 is odd, so it's not a multiple of 2. 8 plus 9 plus 1 is 18. So the number is a multiple of 9. So I can divide this by 9. 89 plus 81, 9 times. 81, 9 times. I can divide this by 9. So 891 is 9 into 9 into 11. Or 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 11. So, 891 is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 11. So, in my factorial, I should somehow get 33331. My number is a multiple of 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 11. Somehow, I get that in n factorial, I'm through. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 is 81. And so, maybe 81 factorial will work. If I go till 81 factorial, 1 into 2 into 3, all the way till 81. Then this is 81 factorial. This number is definitely a multiple of 81. And along the way, in my journey, I would have crossed 11. This number has 11 in it and has an 81 in it. So this number will be a multiple of 81 into 11. This number will be a multiple of 891. N could be 81. I'm still not sure. I feel like I'm, I've gone too high. Maybe I can accommodate it even smaller. Because 81 is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Maybe I don't need to go to 81. Suppose I write it as 1 into 2 into 3 into all the way 11 into 12 all the way to say 27. Hypothetically, 27 is 3 into 3 into 3, 3 cube. There is a 3 here. So this number will be a multiple of 3 power 4. It will have 4 3's in it. It definitely has 11 in it. This number will be a multiple of 3 power 4 into 11. I've got 18, 891. So I don't need to go till 81. I can achieve with 27. Maybe I can do even better. Now I know the method. I know that everywhere I pick up 3's into my product. I need to keep in mind. Every time I pick up 4 3's and 1 11, I'm through. So now I'm not going to do by trial and error. I'm going to think about where does my 3 come. So 1, 2, 3. This gives me a 3, 4, 5, 6, this gives me a 3, 7, 8, 9, this gives us a 3, 10, 11, 12, this gives us a 3 and 11. 12 factorial will work. 12 factorial will work because this gives us a 3, another 3, another 3, another 3, 4 3's and 11. 12 factorial will be a multiple of 891. Am I missing something here? We are still missing something because this gives us a 3, this gives us a 3, this gives us two threes. So, hey, come to think about it, I don't even need that 12. I can stop at 11. Why? Because there's a 3 here, a 3 here and two threes here. By the time I do 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 into 9, my number is a multiple of 81. 
81 has already been accounted for. I only need to get the 11. 11 is prime. 11 can come only from 11. But if I now multiply all numbers from 1 to 11, 3 and 6 give me 113. 9 gives me two threes. 3 into 6 and 9 is multiple of 81. And I get 11. 81 into 11 is 891. With 11 factorial, I have a winner. I don't have to even worry about going looking for a smaller number than this. Because before 11 factorial, we simply cannot get 11. 11 is prime. 1 into 23 into 4 into 5 into 6 into till 10. How many ever times we multiply? 1 cube into 3 square into 5 power 7, whatever. You can never get it 11. 11 can come only if there is 11, multiple of 11. So till 11 factorial, it's impossible to get 11. At 11 factorial, we get 11 and we get our 4 3's that we need. 3, 6 and 2 3's and 9. So 11 factorial is a multiple of 891. Lovely.